Hey guys, I thought it was about time that I put together a vlog to document some of the things that I got up to whilst I was volunteering for Archelon over the summer. First of all, I'm just going to say sorry about the audio quality because I'm recording this on an app on my phone. So anyway, for those of you who don't know, Archelon are a charity in Greece and they've been protecting and monitoring sea turtle nests across Greece and Crete since 1983. So throughout this video, I'm just going to be showing you some of the things that we got up to whilst we were monitoring the uh, nesting beaches to the west of Hania. And Hania is like the second largest nesting area in Crete. And on top of that, I'm just going to be explaining a bit more about what the charity do in general and what their goals for sea turtles in the Mediterranean are. So I'm going to start off with a morning survey I did with my friend Zona. She's a returning volunteer who comes from the Netherlands and also has previously worked in Arthur on the Sea Turtle Rescue Centre in Athens. Because it could just be like two. It's not completely like unnatural, unnormal for us to find like one or two. It's not gonna be more than two. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be more than two. Definitely. How many times has this hatched? Only six. It's ten days ago now. Yeah. And remember, the first one was a lot, wasn't it? So. I don't think there'll be a lot left in here. So, you're probably wondering what's going on here, and why are we digging up a nest with live turtles in it in broad daylight? So, let me explain. When a loggerhead sea turtle has laid her eggs, they take from 40 to 60 days to incubate, and once the nest has started hatching, we take note of the hatch date, and begin a 10 day countdown from the date of the first hatch. At the end of the 10 days, we assume that every turtle that has the ability to get out of the nest and go to sea has done so, or if the nest hasn't hatched by 70 days since it was first laid, then we assume that the nest has unfortunately died. At the end of this 10 or 70 day period, we then excavate the nest to collect scientific data. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to talk too much about the data because it belongs to Archelon, but I can tell you what we're doing when we excavate the nests. In this instance, it had been 10 days since the nest had started hatching, and we were unsure of what to do, because there were still healthy looking turtles inside, but after a quick call to our field leader, she confirmed that we should excavate the nest anyway, and assist the remaining turtles in their journey into the Mediterranean Sea. Upon hearing this, we then slowly started to dig around the turtles to wake them up, and just to make sure that they had enough energy to go into the sea during the day instead of at night when it's less likely for their natural predators to eat or kill them. Unfortunately the first turtle we uncovered had a few deformities around its flippers, but the rest that we uncovered were healthy and energetic. So the next step is to dig a trench in the sand for the turtles to crawl along towards the sea, so that they can build up essential muscles in their flippers for swimming before getting into the sea. It's very important that you don't just pick up a turtle and put it straight into the sea.
now that I've explained a bit about what we were doing, I'm going to explain a bit about what Archelon do and how the current coronavirus situation affected this year's research and protection efforts. As I previously explained, Archelon are a sea turtle protection charity based in Athens in Greece, where they operate a sea turtle rescue centre for sick and injured turtles. Their primary goals are to monitor and protect loggerhead sea turtle nests and raise public awareness in the major loggerhead nesting areas of Zakynthos, the Peloponnese and Crete. They also survey and collect data that can be used to help sea turtle conservation efforts and habitat management, and they educate children all over Greece about turtles and the environment. Archelon re rely heavily on volunteers and on contributions to the charity. Every year, over 500 volunteers help out at the various projects and the rescue centre. The volunteers help monitor over 75 kilometres of beaches with over 3,000 nests that are protected from human threats, unnatural predators and inundation by the sea. Volunteers also help operate the rescue centre which treats over 50 injured sea turtles every year and releases as many that are he healthy enough to be released. This year, things operated quite differently for Archelon due to the current COVID situation. Many nesting beaches were unmonitored until late July, when most countries began to end their lockdown restrictions and volunteers could begin to travel to Greece to help out. This vital missed period between May and July was the nesting season for loggerhead turtles, meaning that many nests were laid without the knowledge of where they were for the volunteers. This led to us finding tens of nests, and even hundreds of nests on the busiest of beaches, when they hatched instead of knowing their location beforehand, and being able to adequately protect them. It can make morning surveys take hours longer than usual, but luckily no one ever complained, we were all just happy to be doing our bit to help out the charity. The situation also meant that many projects were drastically understaffed and underfunded. The project I volunteered at had only three volunteers, including myself on the open in July. It usually has 25 volunteers. By the time the project ended, we had five volunteers total. Fortunately, we managed to make it work. In closing remarks, I'm going to reflect on the experience in general in hopes of helping to recruit the next generation of Archelon volunteers. To say that it's a life-changing experience is to sell it short. You'll meet so many new people. When I volunteered last year, I went to a project knowing the two people I was with and I left with so many new friends. This year was no different despite there only being five of us. Sometimes it might all get a bit much and stress you out, but you go away, you have a nap in your hammock and you remember why we're all there and you wake up ready to go again. When the hardest part of your day is chasing baby turtles around a beach, you easily remember how privileged you are to be there. Waking up at 5am and watching the sun rise over the clear blue sea every morning never gets boring. And watching it set over Hania Harbour in the evening is just as mesmerising. The mornings can feel long when the sun is beaming down on you, but it's all worth it to watch a baby turtle learn how to swim when it first reaches the sea. Or when you're talking to families on the beaches and getting children excited about the hatchlings. Or just to reflect back on the memories you created and the moments that will stay in your head forever. If you want to get involved or contribute to Archelon, they're always looking for new volunteers all over Greece. And you can sign up to volunteer next year at their website in the description box of this video. I hope that this short video that doesn't even begin to cover the whole 8 week experience has encouraged you to consider what you can do to protect marine life, not just in the Mediterranean, but all over the world. Thanks for watching.